Let's do an example of using Griffith fracture equation. It says the following, a material has a K1C fracture toughness value of 60.4 megapascal times root meter. Those are the units, megapascal root meter. And its yield strength is 1515 megapascals. If this material was going to be subjected to a stress of its yield strength divided by two, right, that's the maximum in use scenario stress, and the Y value is 1.12, it says the following, if we use an instrument that is able to detect flaws, but only down to a resolution of three millimeters, are we going to be able to detect a critical internal flaw? So inside your material, you can see down to three millimeters, right? X equals three millimeters. Or in other words, since that X is equal to two times the half crack length since it's an internal flaw, what do we know? Is that if our critical flaw size is smaller than 1.5 millimeters, three millimeters divided by two, we won't be able to see it. We won't see it with this technique using whatever this instrument's using, okay? So let's solve for whatever the critical flaw size is. Flaw size is. We'll do that using our Griffith fracture equation. K1C is equal to Y times sigma times the square root of pi times AC, right? So we know what K1C is. It's 60.4 megapascal root meters. This is going to be equal to 1.12, our y value, multiplied by the stress that we're applying. We're told in the problem that the stress won't exceed the yield stress divided by 2. So that's 15, 15 megapascals over 2. Okay? We're going to multiply this by the square root of pi times the critical flaw size. Pi times our critical flaw size. So let's rearrange this and solve for AC. Our units of megapascal will cancel out. We find that it's equal to 0 0.07199 root meters is equal to the square root of pi times AC. So solving for our critical flaw length, A sub C is equal to 0 0.00161 meters. Let's convert that to millimeters by multiplying by 1,000. 1.61 millimeters. Now, 1.61 millimeters, that is larger than 1.5 millimeters. Therefore, our instrument should see this material just barely before it's large enough for failure to occur. So that's how you use Griffith fracture theory in a real scenario.